For your money this afternoon, here's a look at the numbers on Wall Street today. The Dow is up 18, the Nasdaq up 13, and the S&P 500 barely moved. More money headlines now. Samsung has delayed shipment of the Galaxy Note 7 smartphone in South Korea. That's an after reports that the battery of the jumbo smartphone exploded while it was being charged. A spokeswoman says that the delay affects the South Korean market only and is due to additional tests for quality evaluations. Samsung also says it is investigating the reports of the explosions. Mattel's American Girl dolls will soon be sold at Toys R Us. The dolls are sold now at American Girls 20 stores and on its website. Toys R Us will sell American Girls' new line of Welly Wisher dolls at all of its U.S. stores this month. A month later, Toys R Us will open American Girls shops at about 100 of its stores. Walmart is ready to give its customers a head start on holiday shopping. The nation's largest retailer will launch its holiday layaway program tomorrow. Customers can pick up items as low as $10 and put it on layaway with a $50 minimum basket and they'll have until December 12th to pay off the amounts. Well, it's now time for Ask the Expert. You know how much your paycheck is worth, but did you ever think about how much your job is actually costing you? Priceless. <laughs> A recent study found the average American spends more than 3000 each year just to go to work. So joining us live this afternoon to talk about all this and bring those costs down is financial professional Mike Williams. So why is it important to think about how much our job costs? It's a significant expense for a lot of us. Most workers are spending over $276 a month on just everyday work-related items. Some of that we can control, some of that we can't. So we'll look at some ways hopefully to bring down some of those costs today. So let's talk about some of those work-related costs. Child care costs is one of the largest expenses out there. 10% okay. of working parents are saying they're spending more than a thousand dollars a month on child care. I feel that crush every week. <laughs> <laughs> so is there any flexibility with your schedule? Is there any family members you can recruit? Grandparents are an absolute godsend and I tell you they do enjoy that time with their grandkids. <laughs> but even if you're stuck and you can't get around it, remember tax time there are some deductions available if you do qualify so some of that money does go back in your pocket. What other costs should we consider? I mean, I'm thinking a car, at least transportation. Driving is a big one. Mm -hmm. Most workers are obviously still driving. A third of drivers say they spend over $25 a week on gas. So some tricks with that is the efficiency of our driving. Are we driving slow and steady? Is there anything heavy in our back seats or our trunks? You can typically increase the fuel efficiency up to 17% by driving more effectively. And don't forget to shop around for insurance at least once a year. Put some and saving. You also talk about, you know, going to work. You got to dress the part. Dressing the part, yeah. A lot of us say we spend over $250 a year just on clothes, maybe a lot more, shoes, accessories, <laughs> makeup. Your numbers. <laughs> that, that, yeah. Like, where That's you what I was thinking. A pair of shoes could be $250. <laughs> right. And if you wear them every day, they pay for themselves. There you go. So just exercise some prudence. Is there dry cleaning costs as well that goes with it? If right. you buy one item, do you have to buy more to make the whole outfit work? So as you're going out there, really determine if you do need that new outfit. The outfit has to work just like you. But when you, you you look at these numbers, I mean, it is the cost of doing business, yeah, right? It is. It is. Some other things to consider, are you going to have pets? I mean, there's a cost as well. Job seekers mm -hmm. have a cost as you're going out, getting your resume out there, mingling, networking events. All those are considered it as well. So when That's you're a thinking, tax write-off, though. Uh, well, uh, for some people, maybe. <laughs> Do you think seeking? the overall is 3000 a year? 3000 a year for some folks. The average American is saying they're spending over 276 a month. So that's yeah. well over 3000 just coming and going from work. All right. All right. Good to know. Got a question for our experts. Email them at asktheexpert at today's TMJ4. You can also leave a voicemail. We do have the number right there for you. All right. We're going to talk about the weather and quite a sight.